My mic's telling me no. That's my mind, not my mic. <laughs> I know, this is going to improvise. Oh. <laughs> no. My mic's telling me no. <laughs> but my readers, my readers keep telling me that. Baby. Are you ready? Hello, incredible one, Darnielle A. Jervie here. So excited to welcome you to another episode of Incredible Factor TV. It's October 2017, and this is the month of Blake. Our creative director is having a birthday. How old are you turning? Oh, listen, we ain't gonna talk about that. Never ask a man <laughs> age. No, it's never ask a woman her age. Anyway, it's Blake's birthday, and I thought I would oblige him and allow him to ask me what he wants all month long. Listen, sidebar, full disclosure, I have no idea what he's going to ask me and I'm hoping that he won't stump me too hard. But I said, let's have a little fun. It's October. I'm getting married in 30 days. Let's do it. So, and uh, what you got for me? Okay, first of all, Shameless plug, I'm getting married in 30 days. I love How it. is that a shameless that plug? A shameless it's plug. not like I'm advertising anything. People can't buy it. It's not. We can't buy a ticket? No. How many, how many guests no. do you have? Uh, that we don't know yet. The invitations are out. We don't know how many people are going <laughs> to RSVP and say yes. All right. It's going to be intimate. Intimate. Intimate weddings, which is really dope. All right. Question number one. We're going to start up with something kind of simple, but I still think it's very, very, very good of a question. Uh, very good of a question. Good okay. Question, correct. Okay. First question. How do you handle the nostalgia of success? Hmm. Or the complacency? You know, when certain people... I was going to say, what do you mean by nostalgia of success? Like, sometimes when you reach a certain... Like, when you succeed at a certain level, you mm -hmm. get comfortable. Oh, uh, okay. So, getting comfortable? Getting comfortable. How do you handle that so you don't get comfortable? Oh, gosh, that's a really, really good question. Um, that's a good question. So how do I handle the comfort of being successful? You really don't. Like, I don't, I don't expect or hold that anything that has happened in the past is just going to be given to me. I know that success precedes hard work, and working diligently all the time is what makes the difference. So personally... I do my best not to rest on my laurels. And I say do my best because I'm human and, and I get tired and I want to break. And sometimes I don't feel like working. Like last week, I just didn't feel like working and we took the day off. But I think because I have a team and because we have goals, we're constantly focused in on what it is that we need to do in order to achieve our goals. So three things that I would recommend that a person who's feeling a little bit comfortable in their success do. Um, number one, um, up-level your goals. At every level that you decide you wanna go to in your life, in your career, in your business, there should be something that gives you a knot in the pit of your stomach that creates an, an, a healthy amount of fear enough to get you to fight for what it is that you want. So review your goals, review your vision, review your big reason why. Number two, um, Tell somebody else about the goals that you have for yourself. Accountability will keep you from getting comfortable. Somebody ought to tweet that. Accountability will keep you from getting comfortable. So whether you have a coach or, you know, your ace boon coon or whoever it is that you can share your goals with and they will support and edify and celebrate you in that moment, but also more importantly, hold you accountable, that'll keep you from being comfortable. And number three, I think this is probably the most important of all of the keys that I would give you to keep from being complacent would be to make sure that every single day you are doing something that brings you closer to your goals. If you set a mantra for yourself that before this day ends, I need to do something, one thing that will get me closer to the achievement of my, of my goals, that'll keep you from being comfortable and complacent. But now I want to hear from you. What's your two cents? What do you think? How do you deal with or what do you do when you're feeling comfortable in your success? Do you sit back and kick your, your heels up or do you find something else, a new moniker, something to reach for so that complacency is not devastating? I can't wait for you to join us for the after party that goes down on our blog immediately following the episode so that you can share your two cents with us. And if you enjoyed this episode, do yourself a favor and subscribe 
subscribe, you can do it right here by hitting the subscribe key. Then go ahead and use social media to share it with your friends, fans, and followers. And if you know that you don't want complacency to be devastating in your business and you need a little help to grow the way that you know you can grow, we'd love to help you. And it all starts with a conversation, which you will access when you download your free audio CD, The Seven Critical Mistakes That Even Smart Entrepreneurs Must Avoid for Clients Connection and Cash Flow. It would be our pleasure to guide and direct you on the path towards building a business that serves you. This has been Darnell A. Jervy from Incredible Factor TV saying be better, be stronger, and more than anything, be incredible. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care.